We're asked to find the equation of the tangent plane to the surface given by the function f of x comma y at the point one comma two comma f of one comma two. Let's first look at this graphically. The graph of the surface given by f of x comma y is graphed here in blue. The point of tangency is this red point and the yellow plane is the tangent plane. Our goal is to determine the equation of this yellow tangent plane. Going back to our work, let's begin by determining the z coordinate of the point of tangency by determining the function value f of one comma two. To determine f of one comma two, we substitute one for x and two for y into the given function, which gives us negative two times one squared plus four times two squared minus four times two. Simplifying, one squared is one, negative two times one is negative two, and then plus two squared is equal to four, four times four is 16, giving us plus 16, and then we have minus four times two, which gives us minus eight. This is equal to positive six, which means the point of tangency is one comma two comma six. Now looking at the notes below, if the given function f of x comma y is differentiable at the given point, then the equation of the plane tangent to the surface given by f of x comma y is equal to this equation here. Notice how to determine the equation of the tangent plane, we need the partial derivative with respect to x and the partial derivative with respect to y. Let's find these partial derivatives next. To find the partial of f with respect to x, we differentiate f with respect to x, treating y as a constant. The derivative of negative two x squared with respect to x is negative four x. And then because they're treating y as a constant, the derivative of four y squared minus four y with respect to x is just zero. And now we'll find the partial derivative with respect to y. To do this, we differentiate f with respect to y, treating x as a constant and therefore the derivative of negative two x squared with respect to y is zero. The derivative of four y squared with respect to y is eight y. And the derivative of negative four y with respect to y is negative four, giving us minus four. And now we need to evaluate these partial derivatives when x is one and y is two. So the partial of f with respect to x at one comma two is equal to negative four times the x value of one, which is equal to negative four. And now we need to find the value of the partial derivative with respect to y at the point one comma two, which gives us eight times two minus four by substituting two for y. This gives us 16 minus four, which equals 12. We now have all the information we need in order to determine the equation of the tangent plane. The equation of the tangent plane is equal to z equals f of x sub one y sub one, which in our case is f of one comma two, which we already know is equal to six. And then we have plus the partial of f with respect to x evaluated at one comma two times the quantity x minus x sub one, which is x minus the x coordinate of the point of tangency, which is one. And then we have plus the value of the partial derivative with respect to y at one comma two times the quantity y minus y sub one, which gives us y minus the y coordinate of two. And now we'll sub in the missing function values. We have z equals f of one comma two, we know is equal to six, giving us six plus the partial of f with respect to x at one comma two is equal to negative four, giving us negative four times the quantity x minus one, and we have plus the partial of f with respect to y at the point one comma two is equal to positive 12, giving us positive 12 times the quantity y minus two. And now we clear the parentheses and combine like terms. We have z equals six, and then plus negative four times x is negative four x, giving us minus four x, and then plus negative four times negative one gives us plus positive four, plus 12 times y is 12y, and 12 times negative two is negative 24, giving us minus 24. And combining like terms, we have z equals negative four x plus 12y, 
and the constant is six plus four minus 24, which is equal to negative 14, giving us minus 14. The equation of the tangent plane is z equals negative four x plus 12 y minus 14. Going back to the graph one last time, we just found the equation of the yellow tangent plane to the surface at the red point. I hope you found this helpful.